Hello, everyone. I listened to a person and it says he is a doctor of clinical psychology and certified school psychologist. He says something that was very interesting. I guess he worked or still works with children. And what he said pretty much, many of the children that is gay that he worked with were molested when they were younger. Okay. So is it, am I saying for many of those children, am I saying that it is their fault they are gay? Probably not, because if you were molested and your wires got twisted or whatever happened and you became the way you are, it probably was not your fault. Definitely, it probably wasn't your fault if you were molested. I think that is totally wrong. I guess it depends on the case because I heard some stories myself. So it probably was not the child's fault, perhaps. Now, we have to understand, I think in so many countries, homosexuality is encouraged. I believe abortion in so many countries are encouraged as well. So killing your babies and having same gender sex is encouraged. So if you are killing your babies, if you are having sex with the same gender, what is happening? Won't the population decrease? So isn't those things satanic, demonic? I believe the Bible says to be fruitful and multiply. So how can you multiply if you are gay and if you are killing your babies? We have to understand this. We have to understand that there are very, very evil people in this world that is encouraging people to do what is wrong. Or some people may be trying to get us to provoke God to wrath. Because if you look in the Old Testament, God will punish nations Especially, I would say, let me say it like this, with the nation of Israel, which they knew to do right. They knew to do right. But they would often commit, I believe, fornication, adultery, and one of the things God hated was idolatry which God does still hate. So much of the time, God would really, really, really punish the nation of Israel. Is it that 
is it is someone trying to put us under God's wrath it is like some type of demonic being or whatever is pushing people to go further and further out of the boundary line to get God to really, really punish us. Please listen to what I am saying. I think it is wrong to, to single out homosexuality and not include other sins like, excuse me, I think witchcraft is extremely destructive. Extremely. Yes, I think being gay is wrong, but I think witchcraft is horrible. But some people, and probably some witches as well, may think being gay is this really awful thing, which it, it is, but what about you? As if your sins are not bad as well. Stay away from homosexuality. If you feel like you are a woman when you are a man, if you feel you are a man when you are a woman, that is a demon. That is a demon making you feel that way. And you may say, Kevin, how can you say that? Well, I can say that because of the Bible. God does not make mistakes. If you came out your mother's womb with a penis, you are a man. If you came out of your mother with a vagina, you are a, a woman, no matter how you feel about it. Anything that goes contrary to the way you were made how can I say this if you feel you are something different than how you were made that is a demon some people may say it is a psychological issue which is, I believe, a demon. What do you call depression? I think depression is a demon. What do you call schizophrenia? I believe that is a demon. Stay away from homosexuality. No matter how much it is pushed on TV, radio, or wherever else. It is not right. It is not normal. Fornication is not normal. It should not be, I should say. Fornication, witchcraft, and all that stuff there should not be normal. But it seems like something, someone, or whatever is trying to normalize sin, which it should not be. Stay away from being gay. Ask Jesus Christ for help. Constantly ask him for help with no end. It is not right to be gay. It is not right. Let me stop here. May God bless you.